Okay, um, Mr. Thompson, earlier you spoke uh, very passionately about Waterhouse and that you would not want to see Waterhouse go down. Um, we know what Portmore went through a couple of years ago and you, you mentioned that you, you, you don't think Waterhouse has that level of organization to, to keep their players and stay up. Um, it's not only Waterhouse, but you look at Rivoli also. You look at Tivoli. Tivoli might be more organized than out of the tree. But speak some more about it and what you want to see happen with first, these clubs. Um, first of all, as you know, Rivoli have um, faced relegation a number of people before. Yes. And they bounce back based on where they're yes. situated and the, the competition they are. Where Kingston and St. Andrew, um, I think, possess the toughest competition to get back to the top flight. We have the Super League, we have a lot of um, clubs that have been known to perform in the top leagues. We have Santa Suave, Wystone, and Power Street, which has had there for 10 years, which have tried different people. So, and for sure, um, Waterhouse, I wouldn't say financially, I think they're okay, but I think on um, the mental side of the players at uh, Waterhouse is not one which would want to stay there and have to, to fight to, to come back. Which, if they do, it will take um, a quick season to return based on the quality they have. But if you are not motivated to play the top five, I don't think you'll be motivated to play below a one. So it's very troubles in a different place for them because at the top flight is where you do. You showcase a lot of things as um, emphasize on the Monday night game which should have been televised where everybody can be showcase talents where it will be more opportunity for the people. And I don't think there is much opportunity here for people to watch it because some of the time I said it's terrible to watch it community. So I don't think people even would have the interest to watch a lower level of football if it's not so good at the top level. So I said it's better on to for water was in different ways. I got friends there who I think which are good players. Last year I have a lot of them who was called the national team. As far as Damar, Samuel, Ewan, Gray, Romario, Campbell, etc. Which I think um, everything I've gone wrong because when things doesn't go right, I don't think there's anybody there who can turn that wrong into right. Where other teams are fortunate in that situation where you have people who leave and can hold the team by any kind of um, trying to enter around because one of those about that problem, they have less points and they have more game to play. Because like a 30 game when you have 20 or um, 28 points, 28 points. So you have less than a point a game, which, which is is very hard to see too. So I don't think it would be a different um, if they were done. I think they would be a massive slide and less um, people with um, going there and just doing fresh out. Some of the time you have to move some people out and bring new people in, which is more and more for um, success. Because I think um, what those um, players are satisfied with what they have been doing. And I think it's too late when they want to react and change things. Because okay. after one round and you're not, well, I think you have 22 games to realize that, okay, it's now. I don't think um, five games off the back end of the season should be where you want to change things around. But it's sad. I must say that it is really something more to that um and the political perspective side of things um you know it's it, it's a it's a difficult community and it's a very large community and to to see Watos being relegated you know for this season it, it not going to speak well for the community because the community always look forward to you know on a sunday to come and watch you know the football at the highest level in our country so if they don't have that to be, you know, you know, it, they're, they're really going to wrap back to violence and, you know, it wouldn't have a way. What advice do each of you have to give to them if they go down? If I may, um, I think the dependence on just too much uh, the same or same, way, which even us next year, we think then that they, we, we need to put in you far more into um, the team. The more zest is that you've been there, done that after a while, a couple of years. And the motivation for the coach, it's even a harder job for a coach to talk to probably a toughie I said to, to maybe he has that spirit, but the influx of talent, new talent, and ongoing basis, I think that is where the problem is. It's not a matter of, um, of quality players, but it's, it's, it's a matter of that zest 
Mm. The, the so, test was lost. So you need persons with passion. Passion. Right. Passion. Young Just like talent. Chelsea this season, you know, this, um, it, it was the same. It was about the same issue that Walter was Any advice for the for club I going think, forward? I think Walter's plan was um, mismanagement. And when I said mismanagement, I'm not talking about the hierarchy. I'm talking about the people who give you the job to, to, to really come across as to what you want. I think in what I was thinking, there was too much people who want the football to play they want it to be. And if you allow everybody in the team to, to, to play how they want to play, they won't be curious if they're all over the place. And you could see that in their performance. So um, in, a, in, a, in a situation, I think um, what I was done for was when um, they allow uh, Macalum to retire, which I think his experience was one you could count on. And they have a youngster which I have seen can see go along. A number of kids on the GZ still learning, but I think the pressure was too much for him. And um, they inject some youngsters which I think the time was right for that. Also, because some of the youngsters um, don't have that winning mentality as yet. Winning under 16 and competing in the community is way much different. Okay.